Hi, my name is Brian McNally and this is my 26th coaching log on the UCLan coaching experience module. Uh, today I'm going to look at my preferred coaching style and kind of why or styles and why. This is my preferred one, you know, my go-to style that I deliver in. Um, obviously referring to Moston's coaching styles and teaching styles um, along his, his spectrum. I'd probably say that my go-to and my natural coaching style is the guided discovery or problem solving top, uh, type because I feel like in the guided discovery I like my players to express freedom and and, and go and encourage them to, to explore and be creative and um, you know giving that freedom to my players and um, you know they really shouldn't be able they shouldn't be afraid sorry to, to use trial and error and be, and get get things wrong because I try and do the same and I try and promote that if I get something wrong you just you fix it and you get on with it and that's the same in playing and coaching that if you get it wrong or there's an error you fix it and you move on um, so I don't see why my players shouldn't be able to do that as well because the more I can get them to explore and be creative you know the more free and, and better they're going to play because they're going to play without fear and I feel like that's really important in my philosophy and within football in general. I waver mostly between these two, depending on the ability of the players that I'm dealing with. For example, if there's a higher caliber player, I'm going to give them a lot more, a lot more freedom in the in the problem solving region, where he can go, kind of, and explore. The problems himself on his on his own, and and work it out for himself using a lot of trial and error because they can spot the mistakes that they're making and correct them, and they keep trying and they'll and they'll develop like that, and they'll they'll do a bit of self learning and self education as well, and start to learn a bit more about themselves and their playing style. Whereas if I'm working with a bit of a lower caliber player, I might use a bit more guided discovery because they may need they may need those little prompts and helps and cues just to push them over the line or just to give them that that almost that running start you know to get them moving and get them experiencing what they're supposed to be doing and from then on there you can start to move them towards the problem solving stage and I feel like that's a really beneficial path for them to then go on obviously like the higher caliber player they they want to be discovering and learning and they want to try new things but that also comes with trial and error so I feel like it balances really well, but you've just got to be careful with the success rate of problem solving as well. So if you do, if especially for me, if I give them a really difficult task, I'm going to obviously support them a bit. So I may drop into the guided discovery areas, where if it's quite simple, I'll go and ask them to be creative and find new ways and, and try numerous, numerous ways of completing a task. Um, it, obviously it wavers between them two mostly, but. I, I do have a, 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 an appreciation for, for the other Moston's coaching styles, I, which I obviously dip into um, now and then where is needed, kind of whenever the, the perceived situation requires them. However, in general, the sport of football and the standard that which I'm delivering at allows me to focus on helping players be creative and, and free to explore. But when I need to drop into some command, say I'm working with the younger age groups and... Um, and they're not really being attentive tonight, I might have to use a bit more command in order to get them listening and get them aware of what we're doing and then I can start to progress it onto a bit of guided discovery and problem solving. Um, but I do have a definite appreciation for the other Moston's coaching styles, which I do like to delve into sometimes when necessary. But I think about, for me personally, it's all about recognising when and when not to, to, to switch up your coaching style. Um, and it's something I've over the past few months I've started to grasp a bit more kind of why I've gone with the the two that I've picked, the guided discovery and problem solving, is looking at my past, I was never really given the freedom to explore and be creative with a ball or in the game situation. It was always video game like command style. If we're gonna be if you're gonna put it into the Mostons, it was always commanding, always command style coaching. It was always pass, move, dribble, attack, defend. And it was never really can you show me what you can do with a ball? And I always want to give 
kind of my players and the next generation the opportunity to flourish and explore and be creative because I never really got the chance and I can now appreciate how beneficial it can be to to be able to to be creative and and, and kind of explore on your own but certainly them two them two coaching styles for me have been really my go-to and, and my, my kind of natural style and I, and I feel like it works really well but I also need to be aware of the situation and the players I'm working with and I might need to adjust my coaching style but I feel like it's really improved over the last few months and it can uh, and it's a real strong point of my coaching philosophy now and, and I'm only looking to make it better.